She had three months to go? Why is she giving birth now? For your information, her current pregnancy is inherently dangerous. The fetus has been unstable for months. The baby is premature. She is due in three months. But today, she was somewhat stimulated or induced. And the fetus developed some issues. It's unexpected. We didn't anticipate this. You didn't expect this? You didn't prepare for this? I'm warning all of you! Do whatever you need to do, and whatever you can to save my wife and my son! Or else, I won't spare any of you! Understood? Yes, your majesty. One more time! One more time! Hush, your majesty! Tell us what is going on there. How is the Empress doing? Her majesty is too weak, she can't handle it! Have you sent for the Empress Dowager? Yes, your majesty. We shall tell her. Go tell her grace that the Empress is giving birth in advance. All Imperial physicians have gone there. All right, understood. We shall tell her. <sighs> she was doing all right this morning. Why is she giving birth in the middle of the night? She's due to give birth three months from now. I wonder what went wrong. I heard that the Emperor has been living in Concubine Shin's palace. Is she trying to attract his attention? and try to cause a scene as she did before? <laughs> she wouldn't dare cause that much trouble. <sighs> Follow me. Let's see what's going on. It's quite delicate. This child is going to be my first grandchild. How unfortunate for this child to have the blood of the she. Uh, How is the do Empress it? doing? <laughs> we already gave her three bowls of soup to induce labor, but it's still not doing anything. Get medicine upon prescription. Do it now. Push harder, harder. Don't bother to decoct it. Just put it directly into her mouth and let her chew the medicine. The Empress Dowager has arrived! Your Majesty! Your Majesty! Empress. Mother. You have to calm down, my son. Giving birth is not easy, and worrying won't help her. I experienced the same difficulty when I gave birth to you. But I understand. We're talking about your very first son. You must be scared. But I also want you to remember, my son. You should put your health before anything else. Mother, I don't think it's the same. Her suffering is a lot different. What are you trying to say? Tell me. The Empress is much more noble than I am. Do you think the son she's going to bear is much more noble than you? Your Majesty, you can do this. What's the matter? She passed out. What happened? Your oh, Majesty. no! Physician! Physician Chen! Don't let her fall asleep! Her Majesty! We can't let Her Majesty Your die! Majesty. You have to wake up. Your Majesty! Empress! <gasps> Empress! Empress! Please wake up! Empress! Your Majesty! Hold on, Empress! I know your you can majesty. get through this! Your majesty. Wake up, Your Majesty! Just hold on! Please wake up! Please wake up! Push harder! Push, Your Majesty! And breathe! Please, Your Majesty! Push! Push! 
I can do this, Your Majesty. Help me, please. Help me. I can do this. Please, Your Majesty. You can do this. You're almost there. You can do it. It's almost. It's almost out. You did great, Your Majesty. It's a boy. My son, you can come in. Let them take care of the baby for now. Hurry! Bring me my son now! I want to see him! Hurry! Hurry! Will you please calm down, Silong? You must behave like an emperor. Mother, I am a father now. I finally have a son. <laughs> Look at him, the little baby you're holding. He looks exactly like you when you were born. Let me carry him for a bit. Your Majesty, congratulations on your newborn son. The Empress is no longer in danger now, but she is so exhausted that she fell asleep. The delivery was quite risky and dangerous. But luckily, the Empress and the baby are both safe. It only shows that your newborn son is going to bring us good fortune. <sighs> yes, you're right. I sure hope so. He's my lucky baby. My dearest son will bring prosperity to us. Somebody! Your Majesty. Deliver my order. Today's a big day. Every single one of you will be rewarded! Yes. <sighs> Congratulations on the baby, your majesty. Congratulations on your grandchild, your grace. <laughs> the Empress gave birth to a baby boy? Yes. Isn't she two, three months from now? Why was it so sudden? All the Imperial physicians were at the palace to watch over her. Luckily, both the Empress and the baby are both doing well and safe from danger. That's great. Time flew by so fast. Si Long and Wanru are now parents to a newborn baby. What are you looking at? Madam Shu. Ah, yeah. Look at the sun. It's finally risen. Why aren't the Lord and Her Highness sleeping until now? I've reheated this so many times. It looks like the two of them are slowly becoming more fond of each other's presence. But then... <sighs> Madam Shu, I'll heat the food again. All right. Mm -hmm. Master, ahead of us is where the epidemic is. We should keep going. <sighs> Think about it carefully, Master. <sighs> what is the matter? I'm poor now. I have nothing left in my pockets. Is that the real reason why you can't take my orders anymore? I wouldn't dare. I've been taking your orders for all my life. 
I will never disrespect you. But Master, ahead of us is the epidemic area. If we get infected, even the best doctor in town won't be able to cure us. I have to go. It's something important. And my son's over there too. If I don't go to him, what else can I do to help? But... <sighs> Master, we have been walking for months. We can stop now. If the soldiers are no longer trailing us, I think we should turn back to the capital immediately. All officials assumed you were dead. The secret guards will meet us there. I think we can easily find our way. I know it. We need to plan it carefully. I'm sure we can. But what should we do after? What is the plan when we get to town? <sighs> because in the north, we managed to fake my own death and deceive all the assassins. Everything we do will leave a trace. And if any of them see the slightest sign of dishonesty, I'm certain they will take me down. So therefore, if we go to the capital, are we setting ourselves into a trap? Ah, <sighs> but now, the flood and epidemic in Zhangnan could be a good cover. No one would suspect for me to go this direction, don't you think so? But more than anything, I just want to see my son. I don't have much time. I have so much to say to him. Otherwise, even if I could live a meaningless life, I would rather die. Don't you worry too much. If it bothers you, just wait for me here. Wait, Master! Master! The endless rain will last another month. As far as we're concerned, we have enough staff here. And according to you, we could make use of the homeless people so we could progress faster. Yes, we could. But the rains will make it more difficult. We'll find a way. I'll discuss this with my men. Hmm. Good greetings to you, Lord Yangsha. It's you, Miss Saiwei. It's been a long time since I last saw you. Oh, take a seat. Thank you, Lord Jiangsha. Lady Saiwei, what brings you here? Huh? You see, my lord, my family is from Lingyan, Jiangnan, and my grandfather was buried here before. Our family messenger discovered months ago that my grandfather's tomb has been damaged due to the continuous rain. My brother is an official in the Imperial Court, but he's busy, so I decided to handle these matters myself. Oh, now I understand. I suddenly realized Mr. Gu has been dead for a while. We have been blessed. Tilu has died, but I'd rather not dwell about the past. Right. Please forgive me. But did you pay me a visit today? Because you need my help with something? Don't worry. We're friends now. It's fine with me. If you need help, I'll lend you a hand. Don't hesitate to ask. I heard you need laborers, is that right? You are right. The flooding problem is serious. And I need more people. I'm afraid we are understaffed. <laughs> huh? My family is still prestigious in Jiangnan. We have helped so many noble clans all these years. If you need their assistance, don't hesitate to reach out. They'd be willing to help. 
this is truly an opportune time. <laughs> you came all the way here to fix the flooding problem. You're doing it for the people. The least I could do is help you. Also, like you said, we're friends now. You helped my family before. I appreciate all that you've done for us. If you need help with laborers to stop the flooding, I would be honored to provide more people. <gasps> <laughs> all right. I give you my gratitude. Here comes Lord Yu Jang and Princess Consort Yu Jang. Greetings, Your Grace. Congratulations on your grandson. Did you lose weight? You look so thin, Awu. Lord Yu Chang, Awu looks so frail right now. You should take care of your wife. If Awu gets sick because of you, I'd be very disappointed. I promise to do better. Please don't overthink. I've always been built this way, Your Grace. Your Grace, Lord Yu Chang loves his wife. I witnessed what he said to her on their wedding day. He said he would love no one else. That's why a lot of women got jealous of her when he declared his love. That's good to know. Please be seated. Please don't cry. Calm down. Don't cry, my dear. That's enough. Everything will be okay. Oh, oh, oh. oh my goodness. What's wrong with him? Why is he always crying? I don't trust any of you near me or my son. I don't need help. I don't want any of you here. Get out of here right now! Empress, Empress. please calm down. I said get out of here! Get out! What should we do with the baby now? Oh, little prince. I think we should go. Please stop crying, my dear. Calm down, calm down. Don't cry, little prince. Oh, 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 calm down. The Empress Dowager said, you're so thin. If you don't eat, I'll teach you a lesson. Understand? Fine. His Majesty has arrived! Greetings to your majesty. Awu, Lord Yu Jang, you may rise now. Stand up. Thank, Thank you, you, your, your majesty. majesty. You may all rise. Thank you, your majesty. Greetings to you, mother. Where's the Empress and Jing? She told me she can't go because she's not well. When she feels better, she might bring Jing. Go. Invite the Empress here and let her bring the Prince. Yes. You may take a seat. Understood. Your Majesty. What is it? Why won't he stop crying? Your Majesty, we can't blame him. He's only a baby. It's not his fault. I've tried different methods, but nothing worked. I, I don't know what else to do. The Empress Dowager and His Majesty are there. And they're waiting to see him, but this annoying baby wouldn't stop crying. I don't know what on earth he wants. 
He almost killed me when I gave birth to him. Now all he does is cry all day and night. I don't know what to do with him. That baby just wouldn't stop. How about telling them the baby is not feeling well? Maybe we can tell them he's too sick to be there. We can't do that, Empress. Tonight's dinner was made in honor of him. It's important for him to attend. All right, then. If somebody finds out the prince is weak and ill now, it might affect his position as the crown prince. What should we do now? Your Majesty? What? What do you want from me? I don't want you here! Empress, his Majesty and the Empress Dowager must have sent someone. I'll go and check it. All right, then. See who it is. Give him to me. Madam, what's going on here? The Empress and His Majesty are impatient. The young prince wouldn't stop crying, and the Empress doesn't know how to pacify him. But the Empress Dowager... Listen to me. You go back there and tell them the Empress will be there soon, together with the baby. All right. You don't stop crying. You'll drive me crazy. <sighs> Empress, it was Zhao Yun. <sighs> Empress, if you may, I do have an idea. Your wife and child hasn't arrived yet. I thought she was proud about her first child. I've invited her several times. Should I go there and invite her in person? Don't worry, Mother. I'm sure that she... The Empress and the Prince have finally arrived! Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings, Mother. Wanru, you may get up. Thank you, Your Majesty. I apologized for the delay I've caused. Today, the princess was quite hyper and excited and didn't want to fall asleep. He stayed awake. He might be too excited that he was going to meet you, so when he was getting dressed, he fell asleep. He suddenly got tired. That's the reason why it took a while to get here. Are you serious? Mother, it seems my firstborn is a very wise boy. I'm so glad he's doing fine. If you have nothing to worry about, then I have no reason to. Where is my son? Show me my son. I'll show the prince to them. <laughs> Mother, take a look at him. Your little grandson has rosy skin. He has the appearance of an emperor. He's such a lovely baby. <laughs> My grandson is so handsome. He reminds me of you when you were little. <laughs> Look! Look! Everyone! This is my firstborn, our prince! Congratulations, Your Majesty! <laughs> Awu! Come here! Take a look at your little nephew!
Would you mind if I hold your baby? Here. Hey, your aunt is going to carry you now. <laughs> I will. When we were younger, we used to play inside the palace. We grew up together. But now, twelve years have already passed. Wanru and I already have a son and started a family. I think you and Xiao Qi should have babies soon. It doesn't matter if you have a son or a daughter. I'm going to let your baby grow up with my son. They'd be playmates. Your Majesty, today is a feast for Jing'er. It should be about him and not me. I think His Majesty is right. You shouldn't waste any time. You should take care of yourself and have a baby soon. Their baby was so adorable. The prince looks like Xilong when he was younger. Did you even see him when he was a small baby? Oh, come on. Will you stop teasing me? I also want to have a child of my own. Be patient. You'll have one. I'm pretty sure we'll have a baby when you get better. Tell me, am I going to see the Imperial Physician tonight? I think you should stay at Fangqi Palace tonight. I'll pick you up in the morning. All right. And don't forget, you're not allowed to drink. Mm -hmm. Go on. Why isn't the prince awake yet? Could there be something wrong with him? I don't think so, Empress. He must be really exhausted. Listen, bring the prince to the bedroom to rest. Understood. You must be tired, too. <sighs> Since I gave birth to Jinga, I have been feeling less energetic. I nearly died giving birth to him. It's like I lost all my strength, and all he does is cry all day and all night. I feel like my body isn't the same. You're not that old. Ever since you gave birth to him, you seem to look more glowing. I honestly believe that here in the palace, no other woman can beat your beauty. What good would beauty do? The Emperor has spoiled me for many years. But I suppose only the new women are favored inside the harem. Think about how His Majesty looked at Princess Consort Yu Chang. Perhaps if she hadn't married Lord Yu Chang, His Majesty would have taken her as his woman. Madam Su, I think there's something odd about the little prince. Did you notice how red his face was earlier? What? Perhaps it was caused by the swaddling. He was hot, but he wasn't sweating at all. Your Highness, I'm sure the little prince is well taken care of, and he has a lot of guards. I don't think there's anything wrong. But when I held him earlier, the baby smelled like alcohol. Alcohol? Yes. What could be the reason? Why would he smell like that? Your Highness, please don't overthink. Well, perhaps the alcohol smell came from me. <laughs> Greetings, Your Highness! Her Highness is back! Come over here! Her <laughs> Highness is back! Hurry! Let's go! Her Highness is here! <laughs> Greetings, Your Highness! Greetings, Your Highness! You may stand. Your Highness, I'm so glad to see you. I thought you'll never return to Fangqi Palace or forget about Your us. Your Highness! That's impossible. Your Highness. Your Highness! You're back! Your Highness, you're here! Greetings, Your Highness! You may rise. When we heard you were back, Bishu started crying. Are you all right? Yes. <laughs> Your Highness, Imperial Physician Shen is waiting outside. <laughs> People from the outside believe 
that the palace is a desirable place to live, filled with enormous wealth and power, and decorated with immeasurable treasures. But not to me. The palace is like an evil beast with no mercy. But sadly, it is also my home, like the Prime Minister's mansion. It's beautiful and scary. And now I finally understand, as much as I love the people here, it's also them who terrifies me the most. Let me do it for you. It's all right. I can do it for you. Be careful, Your Highness. Your Highness, Your Highness. Madame Sue, what are you doing there? When I was younger, I brewed some peach blossom wine and hid the pot under this tree. Oh. And now that I'm finally back, I want to take it out so I can try it. Your Highness, the Empress Dowager might pay you a visit It's soon. already late. She must be asleep. She won't come. I'll do it. One, two, three. <laughs> there it is. Wow. <laughs> Your Highness, what did Lord Yu Chang tell you not to do before he left? Don't be like this. I'll have a tiny bit. I haven't had a drink in a very long time now. I won't drink too much. How about let's keep it a secret between us? Just a little bit, all right? A tiny little bit. And don't get drunk. I won't get drunk. Fine then, it's up to you. You may have some, Your Highness. <laughs> Smells it good. does, right? Let's try. The Empress Dowager has arrived! Why did she come here? Greetings, Your Grace. No need to be formal. What brings you here tonight? Is there a problem? Oh, I heard the news about your stay at Feng Chi Palace, so I decided to visit. Ah, you must be excited to try some wine, but I already brought something for you. Oh. Cheers. My dear. How long has it been since we last sat down and had a few drinks together while having a small chat? <sighs> when you were a little girl, you used to enjoy my company. I was fond of drinking too. You probably learned it from me. <sighs> Back in the day, I often turned to drinking wine to drown my sorrows. Honestly, I never thought you'd come to Zhaoyang Palace and you would be drinking alcohol and possibly get intoxicated. No one noticed when you got drunk before. 
until somebody pointed out you were acting quite strange. You slept until night time. <laughs> I was so worried about you. I do remember. I considered you as my aunt. And you would call me Awu. What are you talking about? No matter what happens, I'll always be your aunt. You're just a grown adult now. And you're not as obedient as before. If you had only listened to my advice and married the Emperor, our relationship would have gotten a lot stronger. And perhaps I would love you even more. <sighs> there are moments I wish time stood still so you would never grow up. Empress! I'm so worried about the prince. Something's wrong. Your Grace, take a look at your baby. He's been crying nonstop. His body is filled with rashes, Your Highness. His body is filled with spots. What could be wrong with my baby? Give the baby to me. My baby. Oh no. He was doing fine earlier. Why did he suddenly have rashes? I don't know. What did you do to my child? I did nothing wrong. I swear, I didn't do anything to the prince. All I did since earlier was feed the baby some milk. He was doing fine until now. I swear, after he drank some milk, he suddenly started to cry. I didn't know what to do. I swear, I would never hurt the prince. Somebody! Where's the Imperial Physician? Call him right now! Yes, right away. Tell His Majesty, I have important news. Hurry! Sir, I have important news. Her Majesty is so distraught. She ordered me to let you know that she needs His Majesty immediately. Are you trying to tell me if I had married Silong instead? You and my father would not have gotten into a fight? The late Emperor and my father would still be alive today? And my mother would still be at the Prime Minister's mansion? You're blaming me for what happened? I honestly believe I did nothing wrong. And after all, it was my brother who betrayed me first. Despite what he did, I handled it quite well. For the crime he did to your father, he should have been cut into pieces. But I decided to let him live. In fact, I didn't expect one of them to suddenly die somewhere like that. Don't worry, none of this is your fault. So, does this mean you've finally forgiven me? I understand where you are coming from. You've nothing to worry. But if one day, I become an obstacle in all of your plans, I wonder what you are going to do to me. Tonight, I was looking forward to finally talk to you again over some exquisite wine. Who knew this aged wine would be so bland? I expected something better than this taste.
His Majesty has arrived! Why did you call for me? What's going on here? What happened? He was all right during dinner, right? What seems to be the problem? What's wrong with him? Greetings, Your Majesty. Hurry, give him to me. Wait. What's wrong with him? Physician. Your Majesty. What happened? Your Majesty, I see nothing abnormal about the princess condition. Nothing abnormal? You've already said this before! Any more crying from him and I'll bust my ears out! Ever since my son was born, all he did was cry. I noticed he lost some weight. And every time I ask you a question, you always tell me there's nothing wrong! Nothing's abnormal? Explain to me. Why does he have rashes all over his body? Oh. I checked it earlier. I think I know the reason why. There are red spots on his body. It was caused by alcohol. Do you mean wine? That's right. Are you out of your mind? How could that happen to my son? Ever since our baby was born, everyone here has been taking care of him. He got it from alcohol? <laughs> Oh, shit. 